Hi, my name is Dara Duman. I'm going to show you how to use Knowledge Center WordPress plugin. Let's activate the plugin first. After the activation, you're going to see the panels. Panels are the, are the places that you can use for frequently asked questions or anything you, you like. And, and after the setup assistant is clicked, you'll see the frequently asked questions page automatically created. Let's see the page. Let's click on a couple of them. See the details. And let's go back to the panels and edit one of them. As you can see, you can enter the content here. You can say, set the context color. There are a couple of options over here. I use the primary over here. You can, you can set the initial stage, hide or show content. You can add groups or tags. I'll add a tag for products. And then click update. And let's see the front end now. As you can see, the primary context color is set. The initial state is show content, so the the collapse is already uh, is automatically opened. So let's uh, set some of them to advanced group. And I'll show you the group taxonomy and text count tags taxonomy. I have already have some demo data over here. And I created also like advanced FAQ page. You can customize the shortcode, STD panel shortcode. I added the text taxonomy group and set the value to advanced. Just to distinguish the differences between the standard one and the customized one. I put the advanced for the first one and all for the second one. Let's make them bold. Click update. Let's see the visual part. Oh. Let's put some paragraph breaks and click update again. And see the front end. As you see, I have the advanced FAQ and all FAQ. You can create multiple shortcodes in the same page. I created just two. You can have five, six, whatever the number you prefer. Let me see the one of the panels front end. This is the single panel. So ask users to comment also the questions and answers points so let me add uh, go to the appearance and widgets and let me add another widget here featured panels and reset panel widgets come out of the box you can use them on your sidebars so I'll go to the settings and then you can change the panel slug if you have you can change it to FAQ or whichever you like. I'm going to change the template to full width. As you see, the sidebars are removed in the full width mode. Full width mode. So let's change it back to the right sidebar. Refresh. And it's back to the sidebar. Right sidebar mode. Under taxonomies, you can change the slugs for taxonomies here. There are some tools available. If you're using Bootstrap, you can disable them. You don't need to load them twice. Or if you're having team-related issues, you can disable EMD templating system or add just some custom CSS. Thanks for watching.